Liberated TV, shining the spotlight on today's youth. This week, in Zynga, a Jammu. Hotel family, my name is Zynga Jammu. I'm seven years old, a third grade student at the Marcus Mazzai Garvey Institute Teaching Academy. I started my jewelry making business in August 2007. The name of my business is Queen and Zynga's Creations. Jewelry made for jewels. I design custom made jewelry, keychains, and other accessories for women, men, and children. I discovered my passion for making jewelry during my jewelry making class at school. This is my creations. I enjoy making jewelry so much that I asked my parents to buy beads for me so I can make more jewelry. I started making necklaces, bracelets, and ponytail holders to wear to school. When I would go places, people would ask me. People would compliment me on my jewelry and would ask me, where did you get that jewelry? And I would say, I made it. And they cannot believe that I made it. Sometimes they would ask me if I took orders. Finally, I told my parents that I wanted to start my own business. And they said, okay. I asked my old kindergarten teacher to help me think of a name. And before I knew it, I was in business. I give back to the school by donating 10% of my money for playground equipment. I love making jewelry so much that I wrote this poem, and the title of it is Making Jewelry is What I Like to Do. Making Jewelry is What I Like to Do. I'm Little Queen of Zynga. I use my mind to think my creations through. When I close my eyes, beautiful color, shapes, and patterns are what I see. And because we have our own mind, no one can imagine just like me. I'm Little Queen of Zynga. Each day, I can't wait to wear the jewelry I make. Please visit my website, www.nzingascreations.com. My email address is nzinga at nzingascreations.com. Thank you for listening. This is my mom. Her name is Vida Ajama. Hotel family. Again, my name is Vida Ajamu. I'm Nzinga's mother, and I am so very proud of Nzinga. She is um, just as smart as she is talented. It's been so many people that's been um, that has helped her and has taken a part in her business growing. Uh, the old saying, saying goes, it takes a whole village to raise a child. Well, the whole village has come in to help her and support her. Um, family, friends, the school, Marcus Mazaya Gaga Institute and Teaching Academy, they have supported her so much. Sister Parshi, um, she has uh, definitely made sure that, um, that people know about her business. She has allowed her to set up a, a table, putting her jewelry out. She never fails uh, uh, to mention her in her business. Uh, as we stated, that, as Nzinga stated rather, she gives 10% of her money to her school. She loves her school so very much. And the 10% is, is just a way of saying thank you. And thank you for helping me. Thank you for revealing my passion. Um, again, family, friends, uh, the school, the community has helped out. Also, I, I, I don't want to forget about the parent that purchased jewelry from her that was so impressed that she offered to do a website and this is where her website comes from and the sister's name is Leticia Peoples. Uh, she designed her website and her cards and I also want to say thank you to her. I definitely want to say thank you to Sister Nelly for helping her um, think of her name for her business. Thank you so very much.